Well guys, I'm getting my very, very, very first punch on this bike. A bit of flat. Very, very first one. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and welcome to John the Bike. And welcome to a lovely day. Very nice. Very kind of hazy, but very world warm. As you can see here. I think the sun's going to break through even more, but a bit of a haze, but nice, and not much wind, which is always a bonus on the road bike, isn't it? So yeah, out on the road bike, out um, for hopefully about a 70 mile ride. If I do the whole ride, I think goes to plan, 70 miles, so we'll see how we'll go. Heading up to a place called Tuft Hill, and uh, should be good, should be good, should be good. It's not. Not loads of distance as the crow flies, but uh, it's a, a route I've done, I think, once before, so it should be interesting. It should be good. Just down the road here on that corner where the tree is, there was a nasty, well, quite a few little puddles all together. The road like subsided. And I reported in the past, I had to come along and put a bit of tar in and stuff but I reported again and it was getting worse and it looked like they'd come and fixed it but this is the first time I'm going to try it out so let's see how good it is eh? let's see how good it is oh look at that look proper patch that's fantastic that is fantastic Whoy! I can ride on this side of the road I had to actually ride on that side of the road before I had to go up to the white line at least that is amazing, amazing. Good job, County Durham, thank you very much. County Durham Council, thank you very much. Brilliant job. We've done it properly. I don't have to swerve out in the middle of the road. And this road can be busy and all, so you don't be swerving out on this road. But yeah, it was just so bad, you basically had to come off your bike or you didn't buckle your wheels, you had to like swerve out right towards the white line to get around it. And it's been like that for years. So now it's fixed. <laughs> Brilliant. So yeah, I think I've done this ride once before, I think, to Tough Tail. Yeah, I'm sure I have. It's not a bad little ride, actually. It's part of like old routes and then uh, another little bit of a route nailed on and makes a whole new route. <laughs> so yeah, I was going to actually today head out up Weirdale, but I just ran out of time. When I got up and it's too late and I was trying to work it out what route I was going to do last night. I left anything a bit too late. So yeah, I thought I'd do this route instead. And the weather is improving, look. It's no longer misty anymore. It's actually brightening up and getting warmer and warmer. As you can see here, it's getting all lovely and sunny. So, coming down through a place called Sunnyside here, and then down to where uh, Billy Row, place called Billy Row, and then down to towards Bridgeburn. Yep, I know, quite names. There's, there's some very, very strange names around here actually. And obviously, Bridgeburn, and then we've got No Place, we've got a place called No Place, Pitney Me. There's a place called Pitney Me around here. So, yeah, strange names. We've got a Hollywood. Uh, New York, <laughs> weird names. I think the UK is like that, don't they? Generally, <laughs> some strange names in the UK. Strange names. So I've come down from the top of the hill from Billy Row and Sunnyside. Now I'm heading down towards um, Bridgeburn. It's nice down here, actually. It's usually a bit quieter than the other side of the valley. Usually, I see that as cars go past, <laughs> but. Uh, it's a bit more peaceful around here. If you can find the road, which is a bit less traffic, that's a good thing, isn't it? That's a massive bonus. Massive bonus. 
And as you can see, it's very nice. Coming into North Bitchburn now, and then we're heading down to the right, down towards South Bitchburn. Bit of a hill to go up here, guys. It's not too bad, actually. It's one of the hills where it kind of looks worse than what it is. I mean, it's still a decent hill, you don't get us wrong, but it's not brutal, if you know what I mean. You know, you see some cars around now on the roads, blowing loads of black smoke out. So once you run past us there, piles of black smoke when I'm past. Look if the engine's in knock it or what. We saw me and Kate saw one on the motorway the other day, and the back of the car was black. And you couldn't see the known plate, you couldn't see the back window or anything. And Kate is like, what's wrong with that? I says, oh, the, uh, one of those cars that blows a load of black smoke. I'm just then he started accelerating the, you couldn't see the road. You literally couldn't see the motorway, it's just black smoke everywhere. I'm sure they must be illegal, I'm sure they must be. Now they're just dodging the police and getting away with it or what? And there's no way in getting them out here like that, surely. So I'm just heading now down to a place called Whitley Way. It's quite a nice village actually. It's got a little like hobby railway in it. But yeah, there's um, a hobbyist railroad down here. I can see here, yeah, stop wearing light show. But yeah, it's very, yeah. Uh, it's very nice around here, very pretty, very flat actually because we're in like the bottom, we're in like the, uh, you know, like a basin at the bottom here, where the river is, because I come down a hill and it's very flat and then you go up, a, up back up a hill, if you know what I mean, so we're on like the, the plateau, is that the right word? Yeah, flat, <laughs> we're in a flat area. Unusual around here, actually, you don't get many flat areas. So it's quite flat around here until you go back up the other side again. And you go back up hills. Of course, what goes down must go back up. And so we're enjoying the flat for a little bit. As I say, we don't have much of it around here, flat, flat areas. It's nice, it makes a nice change. I spend all my time just going down hills. As you can see here, I always think along here would be a good place to have like a festival or something. Because you've got some big, nice open fields down here. Got a very cool railway bridge down here. Look at this, it's massive. It's huge. Look at the height of that. Victorian engineering is incredible, isn't it? I mean, that is absolutely vast. Look at the height of that. That was a substantial bridge. I don't know what it is now, if it's a walkway or what it is now, but. It's huge. Great, incredible bit of engineering. I wonder if there's a like a cycle track or a walking a walk um, a path along the top there, a walking path through the trees maybe, I don't know. But uh, it's impressive, very impressive. So just around this corner up here, where it says reduced speed now. There's a pretty impressive bridge actually. Very impressive. It's like a a single layer uh, lane going across it almost. It's very narrow. It's very impressive. Well, you don't go over the bridge, actually, you go under the bridge. So it's single track. But as you can see, you go under the bridge. Pretty nice view, though. How cool is that? Very cool. So it came out down the valley, came out the valley. Um, but it was really stupid, not too bad, but it was like cars all packed on one side and there was a bus trying to get past us and of course there's no way for it to go, it's just too narrow so I'm trying to bump this hill, trying to not hold the bus up too long <laughs> Knackies are out doing that, doesn't it? I'm trying to go as fast as I can, you know, so I don't want to hold them up He was fine, like, and he stayed behind, isn't he? He was loads of room and he overtook us, but you just feel awful, don't you? You know, they've got a job to do when you're holding them up. So, as I say, I'm up the top now, uh, up the top of the valley, going past Whitton Castle Country Park on the right here, up towards Toft Hill area. I think you might have been an emergency, do you? 
this will be flying. Toft Hill has some amazing views. Sometimes you can't really see them because the houses and the way and stuff, but I tell you, it would be a good view if you lived up there because it's right up high. I'm still climbing up, just gradual here. I'm just climbing up and I go down this corner and I turn left and go up again. But you know, it's a, it's a lovely part of the world. Just crossed over the A68 there, busy road. And uh, I'm going to worm my way around to Tuft Hill. <laughs> worm my way around these twisty roads. So I'm near the top now, as you can see already. This is spectacular. Amazing views up here. There's a cafe up here actually. I think it was still open. And uh, there's tables outside there. Fantastic views when you're having your meal. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it's a little fall though. Hello there, afternoon. So up here, I'm turning right. It doesn't go anywhere really, the right turn. All I'm doing is avoiding the main road a bit more. It goes further up, parallel with the A68, because unfortunately I do have to Go under the A60 a little bit, but just in the village. There's a cafe, you see the flags flying over there, and you can't see them over the bushes. But right on the top of the hill there, the cafe over there. Fantastic views. I noticed they've got like glam and pod things there, no wonder. So I could join the road back there, but I'm going to go up this way. As I say, it's just a uh, a bit more of the busy road. Just cut a little bit more, it's only like a couple of hundred yards, but still me as well. And I go through the village here and then back down the hill, back down towards the uh, valley down the river with our bridges again. But yeah, to be able to see the views up here, you can't really see because I say the houses spoil the view, but you can see past the houses, awesome views. So, this is Top Hill we're going through now, it's quite a nice looking place actually. Spot by traffic though. Gets crazy busy through here. I don't I've been through it a few times actually. And normally can can even video through here. It's too many cars and trucks and things around. Yeah, because it's the A68. So yeah. And of course because it's the village. Like bottlenecks, and it just kind of grinds through all, all the traffic. So I've come down off top top of top. <laughs> I've come down off the top of top tail. And him down towards the valley. Um, there's a really old church actually down here, um, Eskimo, I think it's called. Um, and I think if I remember rightly, it dates back to the time of the Romans. Really, really old church. Very, very ancient. So down here, soon we turn left, straight ahead for the moment. But there's a left turn in somewhere. I have to keep an eye out for. I said I've only done this route once before, so. I'm still washing my maps to keep it right. Having a break, having some fizzy cola bottles. Or oh, sour cola bottles. Well, they are sour as well. <laughs> it's strong, very, very strong. We've got a whole pack of um, sweets at home. A whole pack of jellies um, that I have for my bike. And I just sort of grab a, a pack out when I come out. Um, I don't know, it's sour actually. Or they're nice actually. They're nice. Which what I need, a big sugar rush. <laughs> I'll be pedalling back for 450 miles an hour. That's what you need though, isn't it? I've got a couple of packs actually like this. But when we're out, like, in certain shops, I think Harry Bowes and things like that, some of these outlet shops, you get big bags of sweets and things. So, in fact, I think these might be from Little actually, these ones, but we do get from, from Harry Bowes shops as well. Now we're in sunny brow. <laughs> and it is a bit sunny too, which is good. So, I've been through sunny side, sunny brow. <laughs> well, it's sunny. So, I'm going ahead. Towards Willington and Crook now, um, and then then along the Button Valley. Another busy road, unfortunately, but there's no way to avoid it. It's not an A road or anything like that. It's not like a dual carriage road, I should say, but it's a busy A road. Yeah, uh, but there's no way you can get around it. Well, I've done 51 miles so far. The top there, 51. I'm going to head up here and turn left hopefully very soon and head up the monkey. Um, 
getting a little bit tired, but you know, hopefully I should be able to go up the monkey and round and do a bit more of the course anyway. Um, so it goes. It's starting to get busy. Well, to be honest with you, it's been busy all day. It's been traffic has been mental, I don't know because the kids are broken up or what it is, but yeah, the roads are particularly busy. But obviously it's coming towards the rush hour time and it's going to be getting busier. So I'm going to have another pack of jellies. I've got some more jellies in my pocket here. What have I got this time? Let's have a look. Got me a uh, random selection of jellies. Let's have a look what we've got. Maybe a surprise for me as well. Oh, fruit tropicals. <laughs> I've got some fruit tropicals. Tropical fruits, I mean, fruit tropicals. Tropical fruits. So I think a bit like jelly babies kind of thing. So I'm going to have them now. A little bit of a rest before I head up that way. So I've pedaled up the monkey. I've just realised actually that that hill's about two miles long. Just under two miles long. Didn't realize it was that long actually. As you can see, I'll have to sweat my glasses. <laughs> can I see? Yeah. It's pretty warm. Pretty warm. The uh, gravel, the, the gravel, the um, the felt. You can see here. It's not too bad actually. I've seen worse. You know, it's not too bad, not too rough. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to work with tar or something afterwards because it looks like it's um, darker more when I came more originally. I've been over the spots before, the other way, and uh, not long after being done. It looks a lot darker all of a sudden. And it was just melting with the heat, you know, and the tar is coming through or whatever it is, but who knows? Who knows? So, anyway, across the felt, I'm going to go up and then down the other side where them turbines are. Here's a macabre fact for you. I don't know if you remember years ago, the foot and mouth was on the go. Uh, but the, you know, killed loads of, unfortunately, killed loads of cattle. Uh, well, on the right there, just back there, in that, where there's a field, there's a mast. These big gates leading into it. They buried absolutely loads in there. Loads of them. They used to come with big truckloads. Like, Articulated truck loads of them and bury them in there like a landfill of them. Awful, awful. Well guys, I'm getting my very 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 first punch on this bike. A bit of flat. Very very first one. I stopped in a uh, layby up there uh, for the call of nature. <laughs> it was a bit of a gravelly kind of layby. Thought nothing of it. Finished what I was doing. Come down the road there, I'm thinking, I can hear a weird noise. And then I could feel the bouncing. I thought, ah, uh, yeah, and I went on a corner up there and it was like, whoa, stop it, I've got to punch it. So I've had this bike for how many years now? I've been on the screen here. It's been four years following up, maybe it's longer. I've never even had one puncher in it. So, yeah, what a shame. Not a shame of getting a puncher because I mean, punches, it just happens, but well, the fact I'm getting away all this time without a puncher. It was like my little thing that never had a punch on this bike. But there you go, never mind. So uh, I'll get that changed and uh, hopefully, hopefully finish the ride off. Well, sorry to punch you out. Uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad to fix actually. But like I can't complain. Like I say, first time in four years and actually I was just starting to fix it. And the lady pulled up and asked if I wanted any help. How cool was that? How kind was that? Um, she's obviously a cyclist because she said, um, she did the coast to coast and got a punch in right near the end of the coast to coast, like a, a mile or so off the, off the, off the actual uh, coast itself. And so she said, I couldn't believe she was like a mile away. She felt like I've carried me bike and thrown it in the water. <laughs> um, but very kind of her. So, I mean, the puncher was easy to fix. Put a new tube in, job done, job done. Um, I'm going to head straight back home now as well. It's getting late. Yeah, finish the ride off. Well, the going's good, eh? Yeah, I finished the ride off. It's got to be murky, actually. You can see here, it's got to be dark and murky. But it's been good. I've had a really good ride. I'm going to head back. Head back home. While, uh, while I've got air while I've got air in me tight. Because <laughs> I just used my phone as well to tell Kate that I was going to be a bit late. And then my me, um, me phone, credit my phone, because I've just got a little tiny phone that I put a little bit of credit on. And that's gone as well, so... Yeah, if I have any more problems and I need any like bigger help, then that, that can't do myself. I'll be I'll be up, up the creek without a paddle. So yeah, I'm gonna head back now. So I've done 62.5 miles, it's gonna be about 63 when I get back. Nearly 5,000 feet of climbing. It's been a good day, very, very good day. 
good route, really enjoyed it. And yeah, I've had a fun chip, but it's just one of those things, isn't it? These things happen. Can't be helped. But I've enjoyed it, it's been really, really good. Another reason I'm going back <laughs> soon for a path, in fact, I've got no phone and you know, I just want to not push my luck. Yes. Is um, when I talked to Kate on the phone, she said, Oh, boiler's fixed because <laughs> the boiler went off last night. And I love a hot bath when I've been on my bike. I know it sounds daft, especially when it's hot weather, but I love a hot soak. Good for me, bones, good for me, muscles. I love it. And I know about it if I miss it, I tell you. I feel all achy the next day. So, my phone came before, she said the lad's been out and fixed it. So there's nothing actually wrong, it just took a hissy fit. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's all good. So anyway, as always, thank you very much for joining us. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, so it helps the channel. Give it a like as well if you don't mind, that helps the channel as well. And I'll see you all later. Take care yourselves, see you later, bye bye.